So hey guys, kamusta, 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 and uh, I'm back sa another tutorial natin ngayon. Um, gusto ko lang ituro sa inyo kung paano ako gumawa ng highlights sa aking mga artworks sa mga ating photo bashings uh, episode here. So hindi na ako magpapaligoy-ligoy pa. si Godzilla which is our subject and meron tayong background here so simple lang for the highlights kailangan lang nating i-point kung saan yung light source like gaya nito dito eto yung light source natin sorry we have here yung sun and si Godzilla here una-una natin gagawin um, medyo linisin muna natin si Godzilla so if you wanna go here layers all the way down and you select matting and meron ka ditong the, the fringe it will ask you kung how many pixels for your defringing so one is enough for me click ok makikita mo yung gilid nya medyo nalinis so sometimes uh, meron tayong ditong medyo konting mga white spot here sa gilid what I usually do is to lock the layer Go to stamp, clone stamp, click alt, select the same texture, sa ating subject, let's say here, then you go ahead and colorize it. So let's say na the fringe mo na lahat, um, you have here your subject, click adjustment layer, go on. Uh, Una -una kong ginagawa is U and saturation. So you have your U and saturation. So make sure to press Alt and click. That way, yung U and saturation na adjustment layer, dun lang siya magpo-focus sa layer kung saan mo uh, inancore na layer. Okay? Dun lang sa Godzilla. Okay? If not, um, dun siya mag take effect sa, sa layers na nasa baba niya. Okay, see? Okay, so let's anchor, anchor this to the Godzilla layer. Okay, and you will see the difference. I usually keep, click colorize. Then, he adjust natin yung color ni Godzilla sa surroundings ng background mo. So, a little bit of red right here or right here then we can adjust the saturation there you go see and you can adjust the lightness as well and after that then you can go right click click the blend blending option so blend if make it gray then you will focus the here on on the underlying layer so underlying layer which is the the, the Godzilla and not the layer itself okay so if you want to click alt then click here magita mo pwede mo na siyang ma-split and magita mo yung adjustment niya sa Godzilla see Click OK. Again, adjust the lightness. Okay, and then you can go ahead and uh, invert the mask by using Command or Control I. Okay, so nakikita nyo na wala yung 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 saturation because na in invert nyo yung um, adjustment layer mask na yun. Okay, so so invert it. Uh, make sure you have white and black here. So white, that means you want to click the brush. So white means magiging visible yung saturation layer. Black means delete or erase it. Okay. So X option. If you want to click X, makita mong nagiiba siya dito. Okay. Makes makes your life easier to change to change the brush. Okay. So let's go ahead and color it. Okay. Okay, 
okay so next what you can do or you can add one more saturation so another adjustment layer go to saturation hue and saturation uh, make sure to anchor it click all Adjusting up the saturation, um, complementing the sun in the background. We can go ahead and adjust the blending option, underlying layer. So again, Alt click, adjust it. So we get the result. Na adjust natin ito. So maybe we can do something like this and click ok so invert the mask command i and go ahead and colorize everything So there you go, just to wrap everything up, um, we can maximize the, the exposure of the sun in the background. So we'll add that in, um, another hue and saturation adjustment layer. So go ahead and anchor it on that layer. So Alt, click, and we can adjust the saturation and the lightness okay don't forget to click colorize
there you have it. All you just need is to practice. Just observe. Observe mo lang yung paligid mo. Observe mo yung every makikita mo sa mga paligid mo. Like how light affects the 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 surroundings. Okay? Yung shadows niya kung paano paano yung galaw ng shadows. Um, kung paano yung position kung paano yung position ng shadows when there is light in the opposite side and mostly um, what you can do uh, for me what I find uh, effective uh, nagbabrowse ako ng mga posters like movie posters movie posters is uh, the best example sa mga ganitong artworks practice 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 and just observe your surroundings observe every every components or lights textures materials around you okay